systematic error. Now, let's see this example. Let's say we have a bathroom scale. Um, from here, we can see that the bathroom scale does not start from exactly zero. Let's say it starts from 0 0.5 kg. Yeah? Okay. And let's say I use this bathroom scales to measure my weight, my wife's weight, my son's weight, and my daughter's weight. Okay. And this is the readings that I get. This is the readings that I get. Um, now, since the bathroom scale does not start from zero, so if I get uh, 72.5 kg, I should know that my weight is not 72.5 kg because that is 0 0.5 kg extra because it starts from 0 0.5 kg. So therefore, my actual weight should be uh, 72.0 kg. Okay, and so does my wife. 56.0 is not her actual weight. Five, uh, because there is an extra 0 0.5 kg here, right? Because it starts from 0 0.5 kg, and uh, so that's my son. Uh, he should be 42.5 kg, and uh, my daughter should be 33.0 kg. Okay, so let's see. For my case, uh, the error, the error is 0 0.5, right? So there's an error, 0 0.5 kg for my wife, 0 0.5, and for my son, so so 0 0.5. And uh, for my daughter, so so 0 0.5 kg. So uh, these types of error is called the systematic error. Okay, systematic error. So what is systematic error? Systematic errors are errors which tend to shift all measurements in a systematic way so their mean value is displaced. And the measurement obtained is deviated consistently either too high or too low from the actual value. Uh, let's see our previous examples, okay? Uh, you see all the measurements here are shifted uh, 0 0.5 kg from its uh, actual value, so the mean value. And, uh, and from here, we can see that the error is consistent, okay? For systematic errors, the errors should be consistent. Every time, it should be 0 0.5 kg. Uh, so that is systematic error, okay? And Systematic error can be compensated if you know the errors. Okay, for example, if I know uh, the bathroom scale will give a reading which is 0 0.5 kg than its actual value, so you see I can remove the error. Every time I minus 0 0.5 kg, then I remove the error. So for systematic error, if you know the error, you can remove the error. So that is what you need to know about systematic error.